Here in the triad, some business owners are still struggling to find new employees. Others have found success. WFNY News 2's Grace Holland heard from one Greensboro restaurant hoping to double its staff later this month. The dinner time rush is on. Orders being cooked, plated, and taken out to customers. Can you place your order online? As more keep coming at Seafood Destiny. With COVID restrictions loosened, manager Jalen Knott says business is holding steady. An area that we did see an increase was in our dine-ins, which was a great thing for us because it allowed us to interact with customers, which we missed during that COVID time. The seafood restaurant is coming out of the pandemic strong enough that it plans to expand to a second location in downtown Greensboro. So this right here has eggs. And it's hoping to double its staff soon. We're going to be hiring for front of house positions as well as back of house positions as well as positions for our food truck. Their hiring blitz comes as many local businesses have struggled to find workers. The latest nationwide jobs report shows more people went back to work in June. But the owner of Blue Denim Restaurant told us earlier this week they're still short staffed. We have had to limit some of our reservations because we've had some staffing issues with the front of the house that I think a lot of places are facing. <laughs> Not says the positive job numbers nationwide are encouraging, and he's optimistic about filling the positions they will soon need. This job crisis um, should have taught a lot of employers how to um, treat their employers, employees better. Other restaurants told us previously they offered incentives to get more staff in the door. Employee referral programs, bonuses, sign on bonuses, bonuses to our employees. You know, we're a people first organization, so we wanted to make sure we were ready to go. But not says their goal is always to make their staff feel like a family, even as it grows. We're all on the same team to accomplish one goal. In Greensboro, Grace Holland, WFMY News 2.